there are so many of these lemon law rules, sometimes it's difficult just to keep them straight. But stay with me, we'll cover the basics that apply in most situations. First, since the rules are designed to protect new car buyers, they generally only apply to manufacturers and dealers. What kinds of problems are covered? Well, major defects. That may mean bad brakes, yes. Bad window, nah, I don't think so. And the law requires that you bring the heap into the shop a bunch of times for the exact same problem. Maybe three, maybe four times for the same complaint. What if you take the clunker to the shop one time, but you're there 30 days? Well, that could be enough. A lot of states say that it's the number of times to the shop for the same problem or the total number of days for the same complaint. Here are a few more lemon law rules. Arbitration in front of a neutral person is usually required. That means you lose your right to a civil trial. Leased cars are not normally included, and the winner of any dispute is likely to get attorney's fees. That rule helps you get legal help even if the damages are small. So what can you get for your lemon? Well, the law says a refund of your purchase price, plus things like, oh, tax license, dealer prep destination charges, if any. But you might get less, because the dealer has the right to deduct for whatever value you got when you use the car. And normally, that's so much per mile. Knowing these complex lemon laws will give you the legal edge. I found your problem. <laughs> I'm attorney Michael James Bryant.